Good morning. How are you, grade one? Are you great today? Everything's fine? Okay. Today I am um, recording this session in grade one C. Every day I used to go to grade one A, but today I said to myself, let's go to a different place. But it's the same world, the same class. Uh, so today we will talk about a grammar lesson so we will need at the end of the session we will need at the end of the lesson we will need i will need you to get uh, to get your um, grammar books okay what i will talk to you about today is a very easy lesson and all of us we use to say it without uh, without to understand the concept or without to understand the rule of the lesson what are we going to do today? It's the lesson singular and plural. Okay, singular means one, like one chair, one finger, one ring, one fan, one window. So when I am talking about one thing, I say the noun by itself. For example, I say one cat, one dog, one man, one girl, one boy, one school, one hospital, anything. Okay, so I'm talking always, when I'm talking about one thing, I say the name of the noun only. But when I'm talking about more than one, I always use two things. I always use two things. What do I use with one? I use at the end of the noun either to put the letter S or to put the two letters ES. How do I know? Let's use our ears, okay, only. When I say cat, I have one cat. I say I have one cat. Okay, I have two. So I will say, I have two cats. Cats. Did you notice the T and the S, they are combined, they, they are combined together. I say cats. So the T is after the S. Sorry, the S is after the T. I say cats, cats. Okay, when I say dog, I say, I saw seven dogs today. Wow, seven dogs. I saw seven dogs in the street. So, I say dogs, dogs, the dog. If I write the word dogs, I'm going to write the o g s right? Okay. When I say fan, I have two fans in the class. So, I will say fans, fans. Sometimes the S changes into Z at the end of the word. So, it, it will be fans fans but i have another word like watch watch i have one watch in, in with me now but at home i have three so i would say i have three watches watches i don't say watch watch right huh do you understand i don't say watches i say watches watches right so there is something between the end of the word and the s like the word bus the word bus i there are i saw one bus today but in the school we have many buses buses i don't say bus let's see i have here some words i have here some words let's go uh, closer like this I have here some words. You will tell me what I am going to put. What I am going to put in the word cat. If I want, I have one cat and then I have two cats. What I am going to say? I will say cats. So what I am going to put at the end of the word, I am going to put S. Just S. Cats. Cats. Right? Cats. Dog. Huh? Dogs. Dogs. I'm going to put S. Dogs. Sock. I wear one sock, then I wear the other sock, so I wear two socks. 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 So I have here, huh? socks. I have S. Of course, I have S. Okay. Then. Kite. Kite. I have kite. Huh? Kite, huh? I will say what? Kites. So I'm going to put this. Let's leave this. I will go to the other side that is written in blue. That's written in blue. I have here the word box. I have here the word box. 
If I want to put box in plural form, I have five box in the, in the class. Can I say I have five box in the class? Mm, I will say boxes, boxes. So what I'm going to do in this word, I'm going to put S or ES. Let's see grade one. If I put S like this in the word box, say it. Huh. It will be the box, box, box. So I have one box, I have three box. If I'm talking to you, we say, oh, Mr. Bob is saying something wrong. How is she saying two box? Okay, so that's why if the word here ends with the letter X, I don't say box. Sorry, I don't say, I don't put S to the word. I put ES. I put ES. Why? Look, if I put ES to grade one, how will I say the word? I will say boxes. So when I'm telling you how many boxes in the classroom, you will tell me there are five boxes. You will know that I am talking about many boxes, not just one. Okay, but if I say box with S only, it will be box. Okay, then bus, as I told you. If I put S in the word bus and I say it, it will be what? It will be bus. I have one bus. I have three bus. How do I know this word is plural? It's more than one. With I put E S. I put E S. So when I'm saying the word bus, I will say buses. Buses. I have two buses. I saw three buses. Okay? The next word, dress. Hand. If I put S, it will be the same. It will be dress with three S's. So it will be wrong. So I have to write ES. So it will be dresses. 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 Okay. Dish. Dish. Who wash the dishes with his mom? Dish. If I put S grade one to the word dish, what will it be? Huh? Dish. What will it be? It will be dish. Dish. Do I say dish when I'm talking about many? No. I'm saying dishes. I wash the dishes. I wash the dishes. So I have here ES. Okay? So I noticed something here, great one. Wait, I'm going to get a marker. I noticed something here. I noticed that. Oh, that the word that. Okay. I noticed that the word box, it ends with X. The word dresses ends with S or double S. Bus and double S. The word bus ends with S. Dish, it ends with CH. And I forgot to tell you this one. I have, we said watch. I will say, huh? Watches. Watches, not watch. If I put S, it will be watch. Okay? So, the word that ends, the words that end with X, with double S, with S, with SH, and with CH, I cannot put just S with them. I have to put what? I have to put ES. I have to put ES. And if you don't know, if you don't know, you can say the word, great one. You can say the word. Say the word fox, for example. Are you going to say fox and you put S? Or you are going to say foxes. Foxes, this is ES. Okay? So, ES. But all the other words I have, I can put S. Like apple, apples, I put S. Book, books, I put S. And, and, I put S. Why do I put S here, grade one? Because if I put ES in this word, imagine if I put, for example, to the word and, ES. Okay. Hey, how can I read it? I saw ten antes. Antes. It will be antes. Antes. Oh. Ants. Ants. So antes is wrong. So it's ants. That's why I don't put s. Imagine if I put in the word egg e s at the end. It's egg. Eggs. If I put the books. 
bookers. If I put to the bear, bears. So that's why. That's why I put only s if the word doesn't end with these ends. Okay. So I have here two groups. The group that takes es and the other group that takes only s. How do I know this, Mr. Rabab? I can try. I can try while saying. I can try while saying. I tell myself mm, the word book. Do I say books or bookers? I say books. So I put only s. The word bench. I put s or es. I say bench or benches. Benches, right? So I put es. Okay. Um. Why we answer the, the, the pages in the book? You will understand more grade one. Please open the grammar book to page 33. Okay? Page 33. He is telling me here in the first page, huh? an apple, two apples, a fox, two foxes, ES, a dress, four dresses, ES. A cat, three cats. Okay. Here he is going to uh, make some tricks. Okay, he will make some tricks to you. Like this. They have three. Watch. It will be three watch or three watches with ES or three watches with S. Huh? Very good. It will be watches. Watches, three watches, and the word watch has two meanings. Watch means watch, I wear a watch in my hand, and watch to watch a movie or to watch something. Okay. I have a, a what is this? Ring. It's only one, so it will be ring without any S's. I see three, a, I, I see three what? Three box. Or boxes or box with S huh? box. Do I say three box, three boxes, three box? Huh? Very good boxes. It's B. I will ask you grade one. Okay, number four. These are six huh? bear. I have bear, six bear. So I will say six bear. Six bears with ES, six bears with only S. The word bear, the word bear, huh? I will put S or ES? I will put S, so it will be bears, bears with S only. She eats an, an or a, it means one. I, I read a book, it means one book. I eat an apple, it means one apple. So she eats an Apple, very good. Number six. These are six bus. I want bus. Huh? I will say bus with S or buses with ES. Huh? What will you say? I will say buses. Buses. So it's the one that has ES, it's B. Number seven. The apple is on the... He is showing me a picture, some books, and there is an apple. So, the apple is on the what? I see four books. The apple is on the books. Which books, grade one? Which books? The one with S or the one with ES? Books. Books. I don't say bookers. Books. It's with S. I eat to peach. Who likes sweet peach? I love it so much. It's very yummy. So, peach. I eat to peaches. Peaches. ES. He wears the socks. He's going out, so he wears the socks. Socks, hand. It will be socks with S or socks with ES. Huh? Socks with S. Very good. The teacher has four pen. I have four pen. Huh? Four pen. Pens with ES. Pens with S only. It's pens with S. Okay? Please turn the page. To page uh, 35, 
Number 11, we paint with eight, uh, eight, brush and brush and brush and brush and brush and brush, eight. So, brushes, brushes, S-O-E-S-E-S. You can play with the three cats. So, this is very hot, great one. <laughs> you are lucky you are staying at home. You play with the three uh, cats, cats, S-O-E-S-E-S. S, very good. I have four dishes. Dishes. S or E-S. E-S. Some words, great one, I don't put for them S or E-S. Like the word sheep. I have one sheep. I have five sheep. I have hundred sheep. Deer. I have one deer. I have two deer. I have three deer. Uh, what else? The word what? Deer and sheep. And what else? And fish. I have, I ate one fish. I ate three fish. I don't say fishes. Okay, so uh, number B, correct the underlined words. Okay, I have here, I will do uh, three and you will do the rest. I have here, these are two egg. Egg is wrong. Why? Because I cannot say two egg. Two eggs. Very good. Eggs. We're going to put eggs in the plural. S or E S. S. Very good. I have two peaches. There is something wrong here. Peaches, I cannot say peach. I cannot say peach. Where is peach here? I cannot say peach and I put only S. Peach, I have to put ES, so it would be peaches. Look at the antes. Antes? Wrong. Look at the ants. So I'm going to correct antes. It would be ants. Ant with S. These are three box. It should be boxes. I have to put ES. Five and six and seven, you do it by yourself. Um, and then, in this page, grade one, it's easy. What are you going to do? I have some words in the middle. You will classify the words into the one who will take S and the one who will take ES. Box. I will say box or boxes. Huh? Boxes. So I'm going to put box here. Very good. Potato. Potatoes. Potatoes, put, oh, I forgot to tell you, if the word ends with O, I put ES. So potatoes, it will be here. Watch, watch or watches, watches, very good. Bus, it will be bus or buses, it will be buses. Continue the rest, flower, shoe and dish. From number one to number 13, you will do it by yourself. It's easy, you will do it by yourself, okay? Oh, until number 18. If you turn the page, you will find number 18. Number 18, okay? Then. Here, grade one, I will do three and you will do the rest. I have here two choices and you are going to choose the right one. I have ten potatoes. Which one is right? Potatoes with S or potatoes with ES? I said if the word ends with O, I will say ES. So potatoes with ES. Ticket. Foxes. Two foxes. The one with ES or the one with S? Huh? Very good. Foxes. So I'm going to take foxes with ES. Tomatoes. Huh? It ends with O. ES. Trees. S or ES. It's the word tree. It's S. Do the rest by yourself. Okay? This word 38, it's very easy. Actually, you can do it by yourself. I can see a, a, a means one. I will say, I will see a foxes or a fox. I will see a fox. Very good. There are two trees. Trees ends with S or with Z. Uh, trees. It ends with S. And take care because it has the sound of Z a little bit. So trees with S. He eats an apple. Apple or apples? And it means one. And apple. Very good. I will eat three. Three potato or potatoes. Uh, potatoes. Finish the rest by yourself, grade one. And here, I forgot to tell you, I wrote here, I love you. Because I love you really so much. And I have here, you can write any words that you know in the plural form if you want. This is extra activity. You can write them if you want. Did you understand the lesson? The lesson is very easy, actually. If I, if I say it in two or three sentences, 
I will tell you that any word, any noun, especially I will do this in the nouns only, grade one, not in the action words or in the adjectives we studied before. All the nouns can be in the singular form and in the plural form. Singular form, it means one. One thing only. One thing, one place, one animal, one person, boy, girl, okay? And it can be more than one. I put sometimes S to the noun and I put sometimes ES. When do I put S? For all the words I put S, except the words that end with X or double S or S or CH or SH or O. If you find the word end with these words like box, like dress, bus, uh, dish, watch, potato, you will put ES. Why I put ES grade one? Because if I put only S, I cannot pronounce the word. I cannot say it. I cannot say fox, X and then S. I cannot say dish. No, I say dishes. Okay? So, it's very good actually to, uh, I always say, we have to use uh, our ears in, uh, in the phonics. It's more than knowing the rule. If I use my ears, uh, in the phonics session or while I am uh, answering any phonics sheet, uh, uh, it will be very easy for me. Instead of, uh, of course, to know the rule is very important, but the most important thing is to try to uh, hear the word. Hear, because sometimes, like when I tell you, uh, I, uh, I are happy. I are? Even if you don't know the rule that it's I am, but you will hear it, from, uh, with you, you will hear it with your ears, I are, it's not even making sense to, to, to say it. So that's why I'm telling you, you can ask yourself, is it S or ES? Is it bookings or books? Is it uh, dress or dresses? Okay? This was my lesson today, great one. I was very happy to be with you. Inshallah, in the next session, uh, in the Zoom session, we are going to discuss this lesson again uh, to see if you don't understand. Try to watch the video and to answer the sheets. And if you don't understand anything, tell it to me in uh, my Zoom session tomorrow. Thank you very much, Grid One. I love you all and I hope you are fine. Great.